Well, it is now day two in our quest to find this year's eco hero. Every day this week, we are introducing you to one of our top finalists. And one high school student with a passion for protecting our planet will be headed to Australia and will be part of a primetime special right here on Local 10. And again, we received a lot of fantastic mm. nominations and need your help to pick our winner. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But first, let's meet our second finalist from Terra Environmental Research Institute in Miami. If you guys want to pet her, you can just a couple fingers or your hands following her scales. If you want to know anything about reptiles. So some snakes are actually going to feel really different. So just talk to high school senior Brielle Martinez, who says when she went to her first reptile convention, she was hooked. It really just opened my eyes to how diverse um, reptiles can be as far as species wise. Their different adaptations, where they can be around the world, why they look a certain way. And ever since I just couldn't look back. While her family's reptile business sparked her special interest. Do you want to go to Australia? Brielle says she really is wild about all wildlife. In fact, she's volunteered almost 500 hours as a conservation team scientist at Zoo Miami. I absolutely loved my time there because it's really just a lot of education with the public and getting people involved in conservation, what they can do in their home lives that can have real world international implications. At Terra Environmental Research Institute. So let's water D1. Brielle leads the school's Million Orchid Project, gathering data for Fairchild Botanical Gardens. Any organism, really, so plants and animals, have a specific role in the ecosystem. It's the unique ecosystem in Australia Brielle is hoping to see, as well as the Argus Monitor. You guessed it, a reptile. They'll stand on those hind legs and kind of look around to see and hunt. Super, super unique species. You're not going to see that anywhere. Koalas, kangaroos, quokkas, they're so amazing. I just, everything from the birds, the insects, the invertebrates are just so unique. But this is a whole new experience. This is amazing. From shark tagging with the University of Miami to organizing rallies opposing a water park on county land. Designer Brianna Martinez with her poultry feed trick dress. Or designing a dress made from poultry bags to promote sustainability in agriculture. It's a material that you'll see a lot, um, a lot of people upcycle as tote bags. And I really wanted to make a statement. Brielle is passionate about spreading her conservation message. Animals can't speak. Plants can't speak. They can't tell us that they're hurting or that something is wrong and it can affect us. So it's important for us as people who have the opportunity to do so and the to write tools to do so to make that change. We've all got to make that change. Brielle is headed off to college this fall and she wants to become a conservation veterinarian. Pretty cool stuff. And we have three more finalists for you to meet this week. And then we're going to ask you to go to our website, local10.com, and vote for your favorite eco warrior. You can vote once a day, and voting begins this Friday at 6 o'clock. It'll last a couple of weeks till 6 o'clock Friday, March the 14th. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, she's so passionate and so articulate. Yeah. You can sense her love for the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom, and you never know what that gateway is going to be for her. Yeah. It happened to be a reptile. Yeah. Now she wants to go to Australia not to see a koala or a kangaroo, <laughs> but to see an Argus monitor. Right, I, mean, I, I had to look up what that was actually, but now I know. <laughs> I do too.